Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us learn how to convert analog data to analog signal. Guys, this, this is also a topic which I am not so familiar with and I didn't find any problems guys. If I, I found problems, I could have a clear idea that how the approach, how the process continues. But this is just a theoretical concept and here also the same three things that we have represented in the previous lecture, amplitude, frequency and phase. So these are the three things which we will be discussing again in this lecture also. So here we will be converting the analog data to analog signal. Okay. So analog signals are modified to represent in analog data. Okay. So amplitude modification, modulation. So in this modulation, the amplitude of the carrier signal is modified to reflect the analog in the digital signal. So let us assume this is our original audio signal. So for our carrier frequency or carrier wave, we will be making it a bit nearer. So once you pass it through the ampli amplitude modulation, it becomes in this way guys, it becomes a, like a music, right? So amplitude, amplitude modification is implemented by using the multiplexers. We will be using different, different multiplexer to use this. Okay, so now let us go through frequency modulation. Frequency modulation is also similar to that, but here we will be considering as the frequency. So here let us assume the audio signal, so it, it can be achieved by making the changes in the voltage. Yes, voltage changes will result in frequency change, that's true. So if it is in this way, we'll be, once we use a normal frequency, it will be in this way. And after some time, for some part, it will be really high and at some part it will be really low. So these are the things which we have discussed in the previous lecture also guys. This is nothing but that and this is nothing but that. So we can draw it step by step also. So in this way also we can draw. And phase is nothing but it is similar to frequency modulation. So the phase will be in this way only, if it is 0 it will be, sorry if it is 1 it will be incrementing and if it is 0 in the opposite direction, if it is 1 in the same direction, in that way it continues guys. So basically I am not so familiar with this digital data to analog signal and analog data to analog signal. So that is the reason why I have just given you an overview of both the things. So I hope you got at least a small idea on that, so just search for the data in your textbook or in your classworks guys so that you will be having a clear idea. So by this we are completing the first unit guys. So the next tutorial will be going through some important questions and that will be your review video for this chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.